Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing these four DIY spring decor ideas using items from the Dollar Tree. And I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you are new and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. First, I'm going to be making Ray Dunn inspired flower pots. And these were a dollar for a pack of two and they are four and a half inches tall. I'm using white Waverly chalk paint to paint these. I also just recently bought this paint tray off of Amazon, and I'll link this down below um, if you're interested. They're really nice if you do a lot of paint projects, but I also found a similar smaller paint tray at the Dollar Tree, so you can look for one there as well. I paint all three of these pots white, and then I'll show you in Design Space how I made the decals to go on these. I'm going to do is click on text and then I'm going to go up to font and I am going to change it to the skinny and this looks like the Ray Dunn style so then I'm going to select the skinny and I downloaded this off of defont.com and I'm going to type in plant grow and bloom Okay, so I have all of those written out, and then I am going to do two inches for the height for each of these. So then the next thing I'm going to do is just click on make it. And then I'm just going to move these over just a tiny bit so it's easier to cut these out. hit continue and I have my dial set to vinyl on my machine so then I'll just show you on my machine how I cut these out. My Cricut cuts out the vinyl and then I weed it out with my weeding tool. Next I take my duck brand contact paper and I use this as my transfer paper and I apply it to the decal and scrape it down on the front and the back. Since this is a round surface I always like to cut slits in between the letters which will give the transfer paper just a little bit more give. Then I place the decal onto the pot and I press it down and then I take off the transfer paper. Then I'll just do the same thing for the other two pots. I found these really pretty lavender flowers at the Dollar Tree. I bought five of them and I decided to put these inside of these pots. And here's how these turned out. I decided I'm going to keep these flowers in my decor for spring and then switch it to brighter flowers for the summer. Next I'll show you how I made my Dollar Tree mug. Okay, I'm going to click on uploads and I already downloaded this SVG off of lovesvg.com. I get so many of my SVGs off of there and it a lot of them are free. So this is the one that I downloaded and then I already uploaded it. I just clicked on upload image and grabbed it from my downloads. So now I'm just gonna select this and hit insert images. And then the next thing I wanna do is size this and I want it to be three and a half inches for the height. So I will do that and it changes the width to about three inches, whereas, which is where I kind of want it. 
And then the next thing I want to do is I want Oh Hello Spring to be pink and I want the flowers to be yellow. So I need to ungroup these. So I'm going to go over here and hit ungroup. And then I'm just going to select the Oh Hello Spring. And I'm going to switch it to pink. So that switch that to the pink color and I want the purple flowers to be yellow and it looks like it has the green leaves attached to it so I want to hit ungroup again and then I will just select the purple flowers and I will change it to yellow and then I'm going to keep these green. The next thing I want to do is I want to attach Oh Hello Spring. Um, it'll just make it easier with it all attached to apply it onto my cup but with my yellow flowers and my green little leaves there, I'm not going to attach those because if I attached it, um, let me show you what it does here. If I click on attach and click on make it, then I'll scroll down here and you can see it attaches it how it lines up and you could definitely do it this way because it makes it easy to line up but I do not like to waste vinyl and there's this big gap here so I am just going to eyeball it and line it up myself but it's kind of up to you however you want to do it. You can attach it so um, it's easier to line it up on the mug. So hopefully that makes sense but what I'm going to do is I am not going to attach it and I am just going to line it up myself. So I'm going to hit detach and then with the yellow flowers I'm not going to line those up either. So I'm going to click attach for the Oh Hello Spring. Okay, so you can see over in the layers panel it is attached now, and then these others aren't. So I'm going to click on make it, and you can see it shows up like this on the pink mat. It'll separate it by colors. The flowers, it just does it random, and the green, it'll do it random. And that just helps to not waste as much vinyl, but again, if you want to attach it, you can because it does make it easier to line up on the mug instead of having to eyeball it. So now I'm going to click continue. And I have my dial set to vinyl and I'll just show you how I make this. I have my machine cut out all of the vinyl and I'll weed these out. I always rub my cups down with alcohol before applying the vinyl and this will help the vinyl last longer. Then I'll apply my transfer paper and place my decal on the mug. I'll just eyeball the flowers and leaves. And here's how it looks when it's done. Here I'm showing how I made my reverse canvas. I found this canvas at the Dollar Tree. I've had troubles finding others in the past, so if you see some, I would pick them up. They also have flat canvases at the Dollar Tree, so make sure you buy the canvas that has the hid wood hidden inside. I use an X-Acto knife to tear off the back of the canvas. Then I measure my canvas and I'll show you how I make my design in Design Space. I'm going to go to Uploads and next I have these little bunnies here and I bought these off of Etsy for around 88 cents and I will link that in the description box. So I've already downloaded it and uploaded it into Cricut Design Space. So then I'll just insert into Cricut Design Space and then I am going to make it 6.5 inches for the width. And then these bunnies have these 
black, these little tails here, and I am just going to get those out of there. So I am going to, uh, let's see here. I am going to hit ungroup, and then I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so that looks cute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on make it. And then I'll separate it by color, and then I'm just going to hit continue. So I have it set to vinyl, and I'll show you how I make these. My machine will cut out my vinyl, and make sure you place it face down. Then I'll weed out my vinyl. I set my easy press to 340 at 30 seconds. I line up how I want my bunnies to look. The carrier sheet kept popping back up and not sticking to the canvas, so I pressed each one separately instead of doing it all at once. I placed parchment paper over the canvas to protect it and then placed my easy press over it and hit the green button. Then I peel off the carrier sheet and then do the same thing for the other two bunnies. I stained my wood piece using Provincial Wood Stain that I bought at Lowe's, I believe, and I'll try to link it below. I really like this color. I line up my canvas and then turn it over and staple gun the canvas to the frame. You want to make sure you pull it pretty tight when stapling it down. I usually use hem tape and pull the canvas over that, but I could not find it anywhere, so I just cut off the excess canvas, and I'll link my reverse canvas video below if you want to see how I use the hem tape. It's hard for it to pick up on the camera, but you can see the canvas wasn't pulled perfectly tight and it wasn't completely flat. So to fix this, I take a spray bottle with water and I spray the back of the canvas and it is so amazing how well this works. It completely tightens up the canvas. And I really love how this project turned out. For my last project, I turned this sign that I bought at the Dollar Tree into a more neutral and brighter sign. This had glitter on the front of it, so I turned it around and painted the back white. Then I just did a second coat. Next, I use a ruler and a Sharpie to draw lines to give it a more shiplap look, and then I'll show you in Design Space how I create a stencil to paint onto this sign. I'm going to upload another SVG off of Love SVG, and this is free for personal use, so I've already downloaded it, so I will insert this into Design Space. And I thought this would be cute with the little bunny that is going on the sign. But I am actually going to get rid of the bunny image because I already have the bunny that will be hot glued onto it. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that. So I'm going to click ungroup and then I'm just going to select the bunny and I'm just going to delete it. Okay, and this is what I want here. So now I'm just going to make it the size that I want it. So for hop, I am going to make it 4.5 inches wide. And I'm doing each line a different size. So I'm going to do 4.5. So it looks like the dot on the eye is separated. So I'm just going to select both of those and group them together. And then I'm just going to slide this down. And then I'm going to select these here. You can see it's all highlighted on the side. And then I am going to make this one 5 inches wide. And 
And then for spring, I am going to make it six inches wide. Actually, I don't I don't really like how big that is. I think I'm gonna do 5.5 inches wide. Okay, so I have all of that put together. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to select all of it, and then I am going to change it to the same color because I am this is a stencil, so it doesn't really matter what color you make it. So I'm just gonna make it all one color. So I'm just going to select it all and I'm going to click attach and then I will click on make it. And I am going to be using non-permanent vinyl for my stencil. So it looks like I have all of this here, so I'm gonna click on continue. My machine cuts out the vinyl, but this time I weed out the letters instead. It's the opposite of what you would normally weed. I place my transfer paper over each vinyl and line them up and place them onto the sign. First, I paint a base layer of that same white paint, and this will prevent the paint, the color paint that I'm putting on top of it, from bleeding through, and then I let that completely dry. I like to use blue painter's tape to put around the edges of the vinyl because I'm terrible about keeping the colored paint inside of the stencil, and I'm using chalk paint once again for these. When doing stencils, I like to use sponge brushes, and it's important to use dabbing motions instead of brush motions to prevent bleeding, paint bleeding as well. I let the paint pretty much dry all the way and then I take off the painter's tape and vinyl and this is always the scary part but definitely my favorite part as well to see how it looks and I'm using Cricut non-permanent vinyl for this stencil and it did leave a little sticky residue on the back that I didn't like but other than that it did work well as a stencil. Next I glue the bunny onto the sign and attach the string back onto the top. Here's how it looks. I love how bright and cute this little sign is. I hope you enjoyed these spring Dollar Tree projects and I hope you guys have a great day.